<clears throat> Ryan, how is this, uh, you know, closing weekend obviously different than, than a lot of years? Because, I mean, normally you'd be going right into the NCAA tournament and now you've got a few months before that happens. I mean, how, how do you kind of approach that? Yeah, it's definitely uh, going to feel a lot different Saturday evening when it's all done. Uh, you know, approaching, we, as coaches, we're trying to approach them all the same. K-State's really good. I, I think they they need to split or sweep us to have a, have a shot at a, at large. We don't know what it looks like. We feel like if we can win, we should be in good shape still. But, um, you know, outside of Texas, this is the next best team that, that we're finishing with. And we're, we're trying to, you know, on Monday, I've, last week, Friday, I felt like we were healthy. And then all of a sudden, Monday, we're now we're limping into it with uh, some challenges. But uh, it'll, it'll be different. You know, I normally look at the uh, Thanksgiving time and the, the party we always have at my house for the selection show is, is really kind of, it's always been the highlight of the season for me. It's, it's the culmination of the work you've done in the summer. Again, we didn't get a summer. We didn't get a spring and then you know what what you did in your preseason and then finishing conference what's that going to look like for us so uh it's different it's kind of a uh you know we'll get through it and it'll be like a halftime part to me i'm excited because i know how much better we can get uh because we missed all that other time but it's uh, it's going to feel different it definitely will, will be uh after the matches i know for me will feel anticlimactic going into it you know it's it's kind of an early round of playoff uh, type experience, I feel. Um, you know, and then we'll just have to wait till April to feel it again. Next question, let's go to Matt Roberts. Yeah, Coach, along those lines, uh, just with the long layoff, how important is it to get a good performance and, you know, have some confidence and momentum going? Matt, I lost you, but if you can hear me, I think I will answer that that question. Uh, momentum going into the um, <clears throat> next season. I, you know, we always say you're only as good as your last match, and so uh, definitely we want to play very strong, finish very strong, and uh, be able to build upon that. Uh, what whatever we don't do well or don't accomplish, you know, that'll be something that's going to be lingering. Um, in and you know you can't normally you want to just address it the very next few practices and you know we'll have to wait before we can jump on those things so um we were trending well until we had some injuries but uh again i'm, I'm excited for these these matches thanks, thanks jerry. coach jerry yeah ryan um i guess so what I don't know if you can get into all the details about the injuries, but are, so is there going to be some that are out this week? Uh, hopefully not, but we're probably not going to know until Thursday afternoon. So com combination of uh, getting them to see the right specialists. Uh, it's more precautionary. I, I think if you ask them, they, they, they feel like they could go 100% at practice, but uh, we got to check some boxes and, and make sure everyone's clear. <clears throat> As, as close as y'all were with Texas, was there any of the, you know, having to get them up off the mat after that, you know, coming that close and then, you know, now you got to, now you got two more matches to play before the end of the fall. You know, there's that balance of perspective that we talked about, uh, you know, you're up, what do we got to do to finish? We, we're trying to come from behind what we got to do to finish, you know, we, we always in life ask the question, oh man, what was I thinking? But I'm not sure we sit and ponder uh, that question long enough. So we spent a little bit of time on, on that. Uh, we, we said early on, you know, when we stubbed our toe against Kansas, you know, the championship this year is won in April. So what do we got to be doing now that, that can help us be the best version of ourselves in April? And uh, in those losses, I think you let it sting. You let it realize that uh, you know, really the sweep was one or two points in the third set, you know, that's win a joust, that's one more serve in instead of one more serve out, that uh, really is the difference maker there. So uh, to me, that's kind of mental maturity and just being able to stay the course uh, at a championship level. Um, 
you know, and that's what we want to become more and more accustomed to. Um, I, I don't feel we had to pick ourselves off the mat. We, we trained very good. The, the leadership, you know, we talked about Yossi this year of, of anybody who played, you know, one of, you know, the best weekends I've, I've seen her play has looked great, but she's always been this year, which has been even harder because she's, it's been a little bit lonely to make sure we're getting back after it in the gym that we keep our standards uh, really, really high that we, there's, there's no woe or me or dwell on it, but uh, all right, let's finish, finish strong and continue to, um, you know, we're always trying to get better. We're, we're, we're a failure as a team if we're not trying to get better the next day, win or lose. Um, and so we just got to make sure that's still the focal point. What's the difference in this K-State team? This is a team, a program that's been toward the bottom of the standings the last few years. Now, all of a sudden, they're right up there toward the top. Yeah, I, I think their culture is a lot healthier this year. I, I always feel culture can carry you through and win some games when you're weathering storms and doing different things. I, they did have some transfers, but I, I, I think, you know, if you ask the coaches, uh, you know, there's some addition by subtraction there where I feel um, they got some young athletes that don't know any better. And so they're, they just seem to be really bought in and, and playing with, healthier enthusiasm and, and seem like they enjoy each other. And uh, I'm sure that makes it more fun of the coaches. And, you know, when the team's able to do that, then you can teach and then you can add, add to the skill set. Uh, if you're, if you're always fighting attitudes, it's, it's part of our job as coaches, but sometimes when you're healing attitudes, then you're not growing in, in skill. And, and so, you know, we've benefited from that last few years, but I think Susie's doing a great job and just her culture seems good. Um, you want to be good at the pin. So they got very physical, you got one physical pin, they got another high flying pin. And then uh, the, the middles are really raw and talented. So uh, when they're in system, they're as good as anybody. They win five with Texas as well. And so uh, again, this will just go back to a consistency and being able to, to execute uh, for both teams. You know, both teams can look very good at times. Um, you know, we just got to make sure we're looking good more often. Next, let's go to Katie Smith. Coach, a lot of excitement with the eight new student athletes that we'll have joining the volleyball program um, from last week and all those announcements. How do you kind of balance the team you have right now and staying focused on this season and then managing that large of an incoming class? Well, right now they're not here yet, so we, we make sure we're, we're really good and, and have a great week, and, and then we can, you know, I can spend some more times. That The dead period has really made it hard because normally uh, these great families, these great athletes are coming in, and we get to do a big tailgate and uh, team events, and, you know, I think initially there's, there's always for some maybe like uh, perhaps there's a sense of being threatened, but uh, again, once they get to meet and know the girls and a lot of them, they know each other already realize, man, this is like someone's good. Who's going to help us. And they're just fun to be around, you know, and, and volleyball being just a small part of the big picture. Uh, this class really brings a lot, a lot more than just great volleyball talent. So, uh, I will, I will treat, you know, when we get together in January, we will probably treat it like a brand new season. It won't be like a spring and, you know, you've been in it, but we'll, We'll be back to the whiteboard and we'll redream some dreams. We'll come up with new goals for uh, for the next three, four months. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll treat it like a new season and then it'll be back to summer. And so the addition of these girls, not all of them will be eligible to play. Uh, Presley Anderson will. We expect her to make a big impact for us, but she hasn't been able to play for a year, you know. So what, what does that look like? How can we get her caught up to speed? And then really the biggest excitement for me is, is the benefit of all these girls get to play with Yossi. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Yossi sets the standards so high and there's a part of me where it's like, okay, I got to convince them. I got to lead them. I got to show film. I talk to them about it, but I, I really think it's going to benefit our future years. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause you know, they're getting this unexpected season with, with Yossi. And, and so, uh, I expect her to rub off on on them in a way that's that you know you can't always do as a coach and, and so you know Katie you've seen it before like like the impact seniors have uh, mm -hmm. can go a long long way and and uh, Yasi's definitely one of those seniors I'm, I'm glad is going to be uh, uh, a woman of influence in these these younger athletes this big class coming in to me um, 
you know, the 21 and 22 class will, will eventually kind of be the, the new culture and part of our culture moving, moving forward. You know, our 23, 24 will pick up one or two people, but, you know, you're looking at like a whole team between the 21, 22 classes coming up. Yeah, it's exciting. Thanks, Coach. Next one, Bryce Cherry. Ryan, do you guys have any more clarity on kind of what the spring will look like? I mean, do you envision Big 12 teams coming back and playing a few games before the NCAA tournament? So they just uh, announced that because it is not impacting our AQ or automatic qualifier, that the games that have been postponed, like which were originally set to be completed by December 6th, uh, they're just going to go ahead and move those to the spring. So, um, so meaning non-conference games? So conference games. So they are moving, uh, like the Texas TCU won't play now until uh, spring. The TCU, I think Oklahoma spring, Iowa State, Kansas won't play till uh, spring, you know, whichever ones that were, I think TCU had to lose like three weekends and Oklahoma, Iowa State had one or two in there as well. I, I honestly really wish we just stopped halfway and had eight in fall and eight, eight in the spring. Um, but with all that said, once I get through this weekend, we'll all start scheduling aggressively. Uh, I know we'll pick up Rice for at least one match, if not two, probably Texas State, North Texas. Uh, I've reached out to Pac-12 schools about maybe at least doing an exhibition. Uh, maybe I could pick up at Arizona, Arizona State. Uh, I will be creative, nothing set in stone. And I'm reaching out to Colorado, Colorado State. Maybe they meet us halfway in Lubbock. You know, we drive six hours there. They drive six hours down. And, and uh, you know, we play uh, TCU and Colorado or Colorado State. Uh, I've reached out to BYU. I've not heard back from them. But, uh, you know, everyone's on these different schedules. But then knowing that... Um, you know, teams are, I forget who it is. I got to double check. You know, if I was, I think it's Iowa State has to come down and play TCU. Uh, you know, I'll ask and see maybe we can pick them up a few days later after that, just uh, to benefit both of us in, in kind of piggyback on that one. Uh, I'm sure we'll end up playing Texas. You know, it's just, I think we're both wanting a little bit more clarity on what the format is. And, um, you know, how can we do in a way because because we're the best teams to help each other and sharpening each other that's within region and not killing budget. Uh, you know, there's but there's that protectiveness of where we are in the rankings and seating and whatnot. So, you know, to me, I'd love it to be a, a come here. They play us here for two matches like we did. Um, you know, it could turn into a closed door scrimmage just to help us, but, you know, won't, won't win or lose doesn't you know, give somebody a loss that might move us out of a, out of a seed. Next question, Jerry Hill. Ryan, I noticed um, on Twitter that um, Lachey Harper was going to be recognized. There, you actually have three other seniors. Is she the only one being recognized? And is she finishing this semester? Is she coming back next semester? Uh, she is coming back next semester. Uh, you know, I think when you look at the seniors, uh, and Dressa was a senior because of eligibility. Um, so she, she was going to be here two years, no matter what, in order to finish graduation. So when they gave everybody an extra year, she definitely benefited from that. We're, we're thankful for that one. Uh, Yasi, again, original plan was graduate and be done, but uh, we're very blessed and excited to have her back. Man, she just, I think she just started to look like, like her fresh self this last week in practice. Her and Hannah were connecting really good out of the back row, which uh, we've missed that all season long. I feel like, you know, or it, you know, it used to be the automatic go-to and then it was kind of a, we, we you know, weren't sure what we were getting as much. Um, so she, she's gonna be the best of the best, I think next year. Uh, Hannah being married took maybe a little bit of convincing, but uh, you guys should ask her and see what she says. She's telling us 90-10 on that. And uh, we, we think we're good to go uh, there. Uh, the Shea's parents had, had planned on coming out this weekend. That was part of the original schedule. Uh, Lachey will still uh, compete with us in the spring and, and help finish what, what we've started. But uh, her plan was, you know, it was always a one-year grad transfer. 
Uh, her, her knees probably may or may not even let her get another year, even if she wanted to do that. And uh, with there being uncertainty on when I can schedule and when we'll have matches in the spring and her parents being in town, we, we felt we'd uh, recognize her uh, this week on that.